In this video, I'm going to walk you through PagerDuty's enterprise collaboration and communication integrations. PagerDuty's collaboration integrations enable more effective incident response in a distributed world. You and your teams can work the way you want, in the tools you want, faster and without friction. I'll show you how you can use the power of PagerDuty combined with Slack and Zoom to collaborate during an incident. This integrated experience will help you reduce the time it takes to assemble the right people, collaborate in real time, and reduce your overall incident duration. Let's talk a bit more about the capabilities I'll cover today. PagerDuty's bi-directional Slack integration gives responders the ability to drive real-time response directly from within Slack. Familiar PagerDuty capabilities are available right in the chat interface, such as being able to act and escalate incidents, find out who's on call, and if needed, you can have PagerDuty create a dedicated Slack channel for collaboration. The integration also enables anyone within your organization to kick off your incident response workflow via a slash command or a pre-configured Slack workflow. And I'll also walk you through our new Zoom meetings integration. You'll see how you can add on-demand video and audio conferences to PagerDuty incidents, giving your team the ability to communicate through audio and video. What you'll see is that responders can create on-demand Zoom meetings from a number of interfaces, including mobile and chat, helping you reduce the time it takes to get your team assembled and ready to begin investigation. All right. Let's dive into a demo. So I'm going to play the role of a responder. You know, imagine that I'm at my desk and I've got Slack open. With the bi-directional Slack integration, responders like myself can get notified in chat and begin working incidents without any context switching. Now it looks like there might be a problem in production with our inventory system. You can see here, a notification came into my team's channel. Everyone on my team now knows that there might be a problem and can jump in and help if needed. You can see here in this page of duty notification, you've got a number of familiar things. You know, I can act, I can resolve directly from within chat, and I can also see that this uh, alert looks like it originated from Datadog. And if I wanted to, I could dive into the Datadog monitor directly by clicking on that link. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to take ownership of this incident. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to act it. And now that I've acknowledged, I can dig into the issue a bit more. Directly from within Slack, I've got a number of capabilities at my disposal here. And one of the things I can do is I can have PagerDuty give me more details about this particular problem. And you can see now that we've enriched this with some charts or graphs from Datadog. We can also see that there are some automated tasks running in the background. PagerDuty automatically appended a run book to this incident. I can now easily access it. In this particular case, it looks like PagerDuty also tagged this incident as a priority too. I should probably engage a wider response team. And I can do this by running what PagerDuty calls a response play. Think of a response play like a macro. These can be set up in advance to engage additional responders when we need help. And these response plays, they can also create dedicated Zoom meetings for us to use. That way, we have an audio and a video bridge that we can use during investigation. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run that P2 response play. PagerDuty is now taking care of engaging the right teams and finding the individuals that are on call, and of course, creating that Zoom meeting for me. And the benefit of using a response plate is that I don't need to remember who to engage or what other steps to take. This helps me cut down on the time it takes to get others involved and lets me focus on the investigation instead. Now let me pause for a second, and I want to let you know what's happening in the background when I ran this response play. These other responders, such as Rochelle, Greg, and Amir, they're going to be getting a telephone call from PagerDuty. Of course, they're also going to get potentially an SMS message or a push notification. But when they get that telephone call, they're also going to have the ability to press one on their phone's keypad, and they're going to automatically be dropped into that Zoom meeting that has now been attached to this incident. Okay, let me switch back into playing the role of responder. So that response play I ran is engaging others for help. We have a Zoom meeting for audio and video, but what if I wanted a dedicated place in Slack that we can use for collaboration? I can have PagerDuty spin up a dedicated war room in Slack and add all of the responders into this new channel. I'm go ahead and I'm going to select that from the dropdown. And you can see here that PagerDuty created a new channel for us. And if I hop into this channel, you can see here that there's been a, a nice summary. So everyone that's in here now has the right context. And it also invited five others into this particular channel. So now we have a dedicated place where we can converse. We can share findings from our investigation. 
and we'll have a single place to reference when the incident is resolved and we want to assemble our postmortem. One last thing I want to point out is that PagerDuty Slack integration also helps you find out who's on call if you need to engage with other people. And I can do this directly through a slash command in any channel. You know, in this case, perhaps we need to pull in someone from our customer support team. We can quickly ask PagerDuty who's on call. That concludes the demo. If you'd like to learn more about Slack and PagerDuty's postmortem capabilities, I'd encourage you to check out our separate demo video for that. Otherwise, you'll find the new Slack and Zoom integrations uh, available either in the Slack marketplace or the Zoom marketplace. They are free, and you can get them installed into your PagerDuty account with just a few clicks. Thank you for your time.